Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke. Today, I'm here with another two games in our Washington Senators 1955 season. As you can see, presently, we are 31-65 and and in last place in the American League. No surprises there, really. Um, we are three games off the pace, though, from the original 1955 Senators, who at this point were 34 and 62. And today we are playing the Kansas City A's, who are 45 and 52 presently, much better than us. And uh, we have a doubleheader against them. So let's get on with the festivities, if you want to call it that. So, uh, yes, here's today. This You can see the doubleheader. Bobby Shantz will go up against uh, Chuck Stobbs in game one. And then Art Cesarelli will go up against Pedro Ramos in the uh, nightcap. So... We are going to go there. Let me uh, turn down the sound. I've got the computer sound off on the, uh, you know, on the uh, screencast o matic but I want to make sure here. So um, there it is, as advertised, Stobbs, Huben, controlling the Washington uh, Senators. And so let's get underway with the game. And this is the statistics for the day. And there's the uh, there's the president's the president's race. It's it, always fun to see that. I've been to some actual Washington Nationals games, and they are very entertaining. So there's Stobbs. There he is, and he's pitching against Joe Demit Dimitri Demistri. And that's going to be a ground ball. Here, let me move this down. There you go. And there is a single. And that's a single for uh, Jim Finnegan. And now Vic Power is up with a man aboard and one down. And I don't know what that, that might have been a hit and run or something, so... There's two down, and Gus Zerniel is at the plate, and he is out. He's going to line out. Nice. So, Stobbs gets us out of the first inning, unscathed, and we got Eddie Yost going up against Bobby Shantz. And that's going to be a walk. So we got Yost aboard, Runnels up. Let's go, Runnels. Nope, he flies up. That brings up Mickey Vernon, one down, and a man on, and he walks. So we got two runners aboard. And uh, Roy Seaver's up. And he's going to ground into a double play that will end the inning. So we're three games back of what we actually did. I was hoping to at least do what we actually did, but we'll see if that happens. Three games off the pace with as many as we have left. This is only near the end of July in the schedule. It's still a lot of time to make that up, but uh, Bill Wilson is batting, and he is going to hit double. But, you know, uh, it is the uh, Senators, and they're not a very good team. So you would think that once they get behind some kind of a metric, they're not going to make it. Ground ball to second will move Wilson to third. So there's one down with Wilson at third. And Astro is up. I'm not going to bring the infield in. I don't like doing that anyway. Runnels is going to make the play. And, uh, yeah, then they scored the run, which is not surprising. Harry Simpson is up with two down, and he strikes out. So, I mean, I figured I was conceding the run, but I don't like bringing the infield in. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I would rather just hope for a pop-up or a shallow fly or a strikeout or something along those lines. 
Tom um, foot is up. And he's going to get a ground ball, and that's going to be the second out of the second inning with us losing one nothing, And Ed Gerald, the catcher, is at the plate. He's going to hit the ball to center, and that's Wilson out there. He's not very good. That might fall. And, well, it pops out of his glove, so he's on. Jose Valdivizo is going to strike out. So we're going to go to the top of the third, and we're losing one nothing. And we're hoping stops out, holds it right there. The pitcher is up, and he hits a single. Bobby Chance, ripping a single. You don't want to see that happen. Chance is aboard with no outs, and then there's a hit by pitch. The batter is going to be out, but uh, they they put in Boyer to pinch hit for him. There's going to be a bunt attempt, Finnegan. And we make the play, but there are now runners at second and third with only one out. Vic Power, I'm going to pitch to Power. Then see right there, that would have been... Oh, it did bring the infield in for me. Ah, oh, God, I forgot about that. Yeah. It was a... Yeah. I mean, a run would have scored anyway. But uh, possibly... Bob Wilson. Yeah, I forgot that the computer will make the decision for me, and I have to unmake it. So anyway, Chuck Stobbs is up. We're now down 3 nothing, But he gets a single, so that's good. We got Yost up as a good hitter, but he strikes out. Pete Runnels is up. And he's going to strike out. And that brings up Mickey Vernon. And Mickey Vernon hits a single. We've got, two on. We've got a runner in scoring position. But with two down. So we really need a key hit by Sears. And uh, that doesn't look like it's going to be. And it is. And now, so we go to the top of the fourth. Losing three nothing. And there's a fly ball for Hector Lopez. Astroth is up, and he's going to be hit by pitch. That's the second batter that uh, Stobbs has hit today, and the second guy that he's also put out of the game. And somehow they have Chance pinned running for him, which I don't know how that works. Probably because they have two versions of Chance. That will see Chance at the plate. He's at second base. That's got to be a trick. That's that's tricky. That doesn't work very often. So anyway, what do we got? Two outs and Cleet Boyer up. Chance 90 feet away after getting out. And there's a walk that loads the bases. So we got to hope Stobbs gets out of this inning. With Finnegan up, and he will get out of the inning. So we're still only losing by three. Carlos Paula is up at the plate, and he flies out. Tom Umflit is up, and he's out. And that brings up Fitzgerald, and he is going to be out. Vic Power greets uh, Stobbs, and he grounds out. So there's one down here in the top fifth. Gus Zerniel is up, and he's going to be out. And that brings up Bill Wilson, and he strikes out. So, good inning for Stobbs. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Valvizo uh, up. And he's going to hit a double. Nice. nice. We've got to get at least one run right here. You would have to think. And with Stobbs up, that's the perfect time to lay down a bun. I also, if you know me, I also don't like bunting. But in this position, it's... Uh, it's absolutely um, the best thing to do. 
and it still didn't work. And then there is a uh, an out by Yost, and then that brings up Runnels. So we got to depend on Runnels getting a base hit, and he doesn't do it. So we'll go to the top of the sixth. Still down by three. Fly ball for Victor Lopez. One down for Kansas City. Billy Shane. Maybe it's a different chance. It might be. Uh, he's bored, though. That's going to be a triple for Simpson. So Stobbs is now just getting in, getting his butt dragged all over the field. Bobby Chance. Yeah, all right. All right. I stand corrected. It is two different chances. Maybe they're brothers. I don't know. Leave it in the comments if you know. Um, so, we're just going to pitch to him, but they're going to pinch hit for him with Bill, Bill Renna. And that's going to be a single. Yeah, Stobbs is tired. was just thinking to myself, he's probably tired too, but I'm going to try to get him through the inning. I mean, I might not as well. well. It's not like we're going to win anything. And, uh, then that brings up Jim Finnegan with two down. And he's going to hit a single. And that brings up Vic Power. And Vic Power is going to hit a hit. Let's see if they send the runner. They don't. And Zerniel is up. And Zerniel pops up. So he does get us out of the inning, but it's now 5 now. Mickey Vernon's up against Johnny Gray. Johnny Gray is the new pitcher for Kansas City. That's going to be a ground ball. One out for us here in the sixth. Severs is up, and Severs is out. And Carlos Paul plays up, and he's going to be out. I'm going to send Stobbs out for the seventh just because... I might as well. Bill Wilson pulls up. He strikes out. Remember, Stobbs is tired, but of course, who cares? So Lopez is up, and he's going to ground out. See, these pitchers, really, I find that when my pitchers are tired, that's when they're the best. All right, not there. That's a trouble. Triple allowed to Billy Shantz. And Simpson is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball back to the pitcher. That stops, and he gets him. So he doesn't allow any runs despite being out there pitching on fumes. And up steps the umflet, and he's going to strike out. Bottom of the seventh now, we're down 5 nothing. Fitzgerald is up. He's going to ground out. And Valdivizo is up. And he's going to walk. And this is the perfect shot right here. It stops us up, and I can pinch hit for him. So, we will. And uh, he's a righty who's a 4R, and McDermott. Always ends up being the pinch hitter. Always, always, always ends up being my pinch hitter because he's a left-handed hitter, and it's almost always a righty on the mound. And he hits a single. I am going to hold the runners because we need runs. We don't need to try to stretch a guy and score. And then there's a catcher for four, and he caught it. So that's an out, and we're back in the... We're back in the field, and um, I am going to bring in Spec Shea to pitch. He's facing, oh my God, it was the only thing in the card, and he got it. He walked. Cleet Boyer's up with a man on. And that's going to be a ground ball ball. So now Boyer is a runner at first, and Gray was eliminated at second. Jim Finnegan's up, 
and he is going to get a big game. And this is Spec Shea, just this is not his day, but really it's not any of our days. Walk, bases loaded. Vic Power draws a walk with only one out and the bases are full. And that's going to be a ground ball A if the computer didn't bring in the infield, which it didn't, I don't think. So, yeah, there, there the computer saw the logic and not bringing the infield in. So we got Pete Runnels up, uh, bottom of the eighth, and he walks. We're still down by five, though. That situation hasn't gotten any better. And then Vern hits it with a double play, so there's two down with no one on. And up steps Roy Sievers, and he's going to hit a single. Carlos Paula up, and he is going to hit a single. I saw that single one. I was like, oh, yeah, right, like we're going to get that. But he did. Johnny Gray is tired, and I'm is up at the plate, and they're still going to let him pitch. And he gets a single double after and knocks in a run. Now Fitzgerald's up. And it's 5-1, and now they will bring in another pitcher. And that's going to be a pop out. So we got one back, but we really needed like two or three. Spectator, she's still out on the mound, and he gets uh, the first batter to ground out. That's Bill Wilson. Hector Lopez is up, and he walks. Bill Shanks, two for two today, but he grounds into a black play, and that should be it for them in, in, in the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth, and Valdivizo is up. He walks. Spec Shea is up. I'm going to pinch hit for him. I mean, really, I don't think it matters, but he is a righty who is a 2R. I only have a switch hitter, and that's Oravets, so he can hit lefty. He's a decent hitter too, anyway. But he grounds out. He he grounds into a uh, fielder's choice. So Oravets is aboard, and that brings up Eddie Yost, and he is going to be out on a line out. So there's two down, and Runnels up. And Runnels strikes out, and we lose the game. So there's the box score. I usually take a closer look at the box score, but what we're going to do instead is I'm going to take a look at the stats. So let's see here. Team statistics, team stats. Let's go look at our stats. So here we go. We're hitting 264 as a team. So actually, the batting average isn't really embarrassing. Um, 61 home runs, which who knows, for 1955, that might have been actually pretty decent. You got Mickey Vernon hitting 339. Oravets hitting 367. Runnels hitting 289. Vernon also has 19 home runs. Seavers has 15 home runs, but he's hitting 223. Yost is only hitting a very disappointing 230, which explains partially why we're behind the, uh, the actual uh, record on this date for the Washington Senators. And, but the pitching, 521 team ERA, that's not going to cut it. Um, Shakeley's is 1 and 3 with a 249 earned run average. Webbo Clark, 364 earned run average, 29 and two thirds innings. Dean Stone is our best starter ERA wise at 6 and 12 with a 386 earned run average. But um, Johnny Schmitz is our best pitcher win-loss record-wise with an 8-7 and seven record, but a 388 earned run average actually is both pretty decent. 
So, yeah, we've got some guys, some guys underperforming. Um, I mean, you got Stobbs has a 760 earned run average. I mean, that's crazy bad. That's way worse than Stobbs was. He was bad, but this is way worse. And so let's see what he, he's got a 760 here. But in real life, he had a five earned run average and he has a 760 and he's 0 and 15. So, I mean, I know he was bad in real life, but this is way, way worse than he was in real life. And he's pitching to the same league. I didn't change the other teams. I didn't change any personnel on the other teams. And he's just bad. So anyway, that game is in the books. So let's play day and let's go to the uh, nightcap. There it is again. We've got Pedro Ramos going against Cesarelli. And there again, you've got the uh, day, the uh, statistics for the day. And we're going to get on with game two. And there you go. Pedro Ramos is pitching to Enos Country Slaughter. And he walks. He leads off with a walk. That brings up Jim Finnegan. And he's going to pop out third. He was in his column. Vic Power are up with one out and one on. And that's going to be uh, the catcher. And he's uh, he, he had a pass ball, and then we get tripled by Vic Power. So, things are not working out well here. Gus Zerniel's up. It's already down one nothing. That's going to be a good ball, ball to center. At least Umflit is out there and not um, Oravets. So, Billy Wilson's up, and that's going to be another pass ball or some kind of mistake that allows a run to score. And Bill Wilson is going to be out. So we get out of the inning, but we're down 2 nothing immediately. And there is Art Cesarelli, and he's going to pitch to Yost. And Yost is going to greet him with a double. So let's see if we can at least get the run, one run back. I'd be happy with one right now. Ronalds is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to short. He's a four. I'm going to try to advance. Let's see what happens. And he made it. All right. So there's one down, Vernon up, man 99 feet away. And he hits a single and knocks the run in. So there we go. We've cut the lead in half. It's two to one. And Seavers is up. And Seavers is going to ground down. That brings up Carlos Paula, and Carlos Paula is going to hit a ball to short, but he's a four. Let's see if he can um, throw this into the upper deck somewhere. He can't. So we get out of the, uh, the we're going to the top of the second, down by a run. And after Lopez grounds out. Bill Shantz is going to ground out. And that brings up Cleet Boyer, who's playing short today for the A's. Probably because we injured their starting shortstop last game. And now Omflin is going to be up in the top or the bottom of the second. Ground ball to short, and he's out. Fitzgerald is up. He grounds out. And that brings up Valdivizo, and he is going to hit a fly to right. Enos Country Slaughter's a three, and that's an out. So Cesarelli is going to lead off. Let's hope he gets out. No, no, he's going to hit a double split dead. Always nice to see the pitcher rip one for the other team. 
Enos Country Slaughter is up. He's going to hit a ground ball. ball second base. AC, that's one down, but it's going to move Cesarelli to third. So a man 90 feet away, and the computer did it again. It brought the infield in for me. I am not going to do that. So let me see what we've got to do here. That's the lineup screen. I don't want that. Now let's see. Okay. Um, game preference? Oh, wait. No. Where the heck is it? Nope. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. Anyway, I don't, I mean, I don't care that much. I'm just going to let him play. Ground ball short. Do we cut it cut off? off? We did. All right. I guess it worked that time. Forgot where we're supposed to go. All right, well. Um, so, Pedro Ramos is up. He strikes out. That's a different looking Pedro Ramos than the pitcher version of him. There's a walk for Eddie Yost. Pete Runnels is up one down. And that's going to be a ground to short. He's up four, though. And he, he only gets the lead runner and Vernon. And, and Vernon hits a fly to center. And he's a four. Let's see if he can get something over there. No, no, no. So we don't get any runs, even though there's a terrible defense out there and people that would normally kick the ball around to make plays. So Zerniel gets a single. Bill Wilson's up. He strikes out. So there's one down with one on. We're only losing this game two to one. I mean, we're right in this. And then there's a walk to Hector Lopez. Billy Chance is up. And that's going to be a single. Let's see if they send the runner. I'm going to throw for the runner. I'm going to let go through for a play. And he scores. So, uh, not the greatest idea, I suppose. Fly ball to left. That's Seavers. And it's back at the wall, so he's going to score. I'm going to stop the runner from from advancing. And we're down 4-1, just like that. All right, so see what's up. We're down four one, and he gets a big hit though. Let's see if that can start something. Carlos Paula, he hits a ground to sh ground ball to short. He's a four, and there's a double play by a shortstop four. Now, you know things are going wrong when that happens, and there's a fly ball by Umplet. So Enos Slaughter's up in the fifth, and he is going to hit a triple. Nice. And again, we have the most limited service relievers you ever want to see. And not only that, but terrible relievers. So I'm not taking Pedro Ramos out. He's going to be tired pretty soon, no doubt. But I'm not taking him out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Here, well, we're in the bottom of the fifth, and we're now losing 5-1. And Zerniel is up, two on, and only one out. And he hits a three-run homer. So you can bet Zerniel is tired now. Is that true? Let's see. Yes, he is. And again, I'm going to force him through this inning. He gives up a hit. 
There's no outs, too. So, I mean, he has to, like, completely get himself out of this inning. One down, and she is up, and they helped us get that out. But that's a single because he's tired. Cleet Boyer is up. That's a fly ball to the center. center. I mean, this is really, it's tough. It's tough to manage this team because they can't get a pitcher past the fifth inning. But he does get out of the inning, and we go to the uh, bottom of the fifth. But now losing 9-1. And Fitzgerald is out. Valdivito is up. And Valdivizo hits a double. double. Now we're losing 9-1, and we really don't have any good prospects out there. Let me see what the bullpen looks like. I mean, I know we have Abernathy, who can pitch a lot. But see, he's tired because I think he started recently. So we don't have anybody that's really... Whoa! Nice. Ramos with a big hit. Knocks in a run. Of course, now it's 9-2. But there's a walk by Yost. And Runnels is up. And Runnels flies out. So there's going to be two out. See, that's another problem with this team is they can't string anything together reliably. You have to hope somebody's on and someone just jacks a homer. Vernon, though, hits a single. And that might score a run. No, it won't. And Sievers is up. I hope he gets a big hit. And he doesn't. So we're down 9-2. Going to the top of the sixth. Ramos is, again, as I said, I'm keeping him up there. At least through this inning. Finney's up, and he is going to hit a home run. So it's 10-1. to 1. Really, you know what? Ramos is a spot starter for us. I don't, he does, he's not part of the regular rotation, so I may just keep him out there ad nauseum because we really don't have, and that's going to be Zerniel's second homer this game. Because we really do not have the the uh, pitching versatility to bring in relief. Pop out. So there's a pop out for Hector Lopez, and that's the second out. And Billy Chance is up. And he's going to hit a single, which would have been an out if... Ramos was tired. And Boyer is going to hit a single and knock another run. Now, you know, in real life, Ramos would, you know, probably burn my house down. But this is not real life. This is stratomatic. So we can do this to them. And that's going to be a great ground ball. Be. And really, you know, sometimes managers do tell pitchers, listen, you just got to take one for the team because we don't have the bullpen to support you. But it is 13-2. So there's it's going to be a ground ball to Vic Power. And that's an conflict comes up, and he's going to strike out. And Fitzgerald holds up, and he walks. And that brings up Valdivizo. And Valdivizo flies out. Now, the first batter next inning is going to be Ramos, so I'm going to keep Ramos out there. Yes, you heard it right here. A very tired and terrible Ramos is going to stay out on the mound and give up a double to uh, Slaughter to lead off the seventh inning. Finnegan is up. And Finnegan's going to hit a fly ball up to the center. That's Umflit, so that will be an out, hopefully. And it is. Vic Power is up. He's three for four today, and he flies out. And 
and up steps Gut Zerniel, and Zerniel strikes out. So he gets out of the. I mean, that was a relatively benign inning for a guy that's just pitching on, you know, fumes. Now Ramos will be pinch hit for by me, down thirteen to two. Let's see if McDermott can start us out. And he's going to line out. And the host is up, and he's going to ground out. And Pete Rumble's up, and he lines out. So we get nothing there. We have to change the pitcher. That will be Webbo Clark, our man Webbo Clark. And that's going to be a pop up. And he's got a terrible card, too. I'm surprised he's pitching as well as, as, well as he is. Hector Lopez is up, and he pops out. Webbo. And Billy Shantz is up. And Billy Shantz is going to get a single. This guy has just been a thorn. He's four for five today. Cleet Boyer up. And Cleet Boyer gets a single. And that brings up Vic Rashi. And Vic Rashi's going to run out of so we got a bomb of the eighth. Burning up, and he's singling. We're down 13 to 2, though. So we need some runs. Roy Sears is up. And he's going to be out. Ground ball. Line out, line out. Carlos Paula up, and he walks. We got two aboard against Rashi. And um flip up at the plate and grounding into a double play. So that will be it for us in the eighth. Go to the top of the ninth. And that's a ground ball for Slaughter to Runnels, who makes the play. Finnegan's up. That's a ground ball. Webbo. Webbo Clark. And Vic Power is up. And Vic Power pops out. No lines out. So uh, they're out of the ninth, and it's up to us to get 11 runs right, right here. With Ed Fitzgerald leading us out, and he's going to ground out. Down. Valdivizio is up, and he's out. And that is no doubt going to bring up Webb O'Clark, and I will pinch hit for him. I don't think we're going to rally for 11 runs, though, down with you know, down to only one out left. But let's bring in, um, let's bring in Killebrew. This, I think, was Killebrew's rookie season. And he strikes out. So we drop both games in doubleheader. Uh, you can take a look at the uh, box score. Ramos, seven innings, 17 hits, 12 earned runs, two walks, three homers. And with all those runs allowed, he's still only got a 560 earned run average, which is somewhat reasonable. And then, of course, Webbo Clark lowers his earned run average to 341. So uh, that brings us to looking at the league stats, 31 and 67. We're still only three games off the pace. So I guess we, would, we lost those two games in real life as well. Although maybe that's not even true because I don't know. But anyway, you get the idea. We don't we don't have a very good team. 
So anyway, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.